trouble, but he gets him out of there, and Joey Taylor has got the victory that his fans crave, and just listen to the noise, the raising the roof. He looked up for it before he came in. I'm Joe Poitella and this is the boxing block. <laughs> so we're at the Emirates today for the blog number 10. As you can see we're at the Emirates Stadium behind us. One of the best looking stadiums I've ever been to in my life. Got me uh treat myself to the new kit. Well obviously just a t-shirt because I don't want to get my legs out. But uh, treating me future nephew niece or nephew, he's not, we well, don't know what it is yet but I treated them to a kit George, I'll show that picture for you but uh, yeah, we're here today just to show you this is the, like, obviously my favourite team got the cannon on my shorts I was on a Steve Bunce boxing hour leading up to the Hay fight on Monday. That was after my fight. They asked me to go in there and talk about my fight, how it went, and stuff like that. You've got tall, dark, and handsome. He's overrated now. You want like small, small, fat, and cute, <laughs> don't you? Small, fat, and cute. It's a new tall, dark, handsome. Tall, dark, handsome. Small, fat, and cute. Yeah, small, fat, and cute. <laughs> small, fat, and cute. <laughs> I've been doing a week by week blog, which is on YouTube. If you search Joe Boy Taylor, that come up. It's pretty funny. It's got you in it. It's got Ricky Gervais and some other celebrities. So you're up there. I'm oh, telling you. Old Boris Johnson was in the last one. So. Oh, oh Bojo. Then he's talking about David Hayes' fight, which obviously you found out last night as a six round knockout. Absolutely boxed Dell's head off, made it look stupid in the end, like I told you would. But uh, yeah, that interview is on. Uh, the Rago Productions and Joe Boy Taylor YouTube, so search that up and let me know what you think about that. Even closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're still trying to get a bit of advertising going. I want to get this name, well, my name's Joe Boy Taylor, so I want to get it recognised. Everybody to know it, everyone know who I am. I'm trying to get some more followers on Facebook. I've got nearly 600 now, so uh, got me t shirts. Everybody loved the t-shirts on a fight night. Um, a few of the boys that took them away on holiday are going to have a picture for us next week. My uncle went, and went working in uh, Mystique. He took a photo for us. And uh, also someone's made a team mascot for us. Don't know what we're going to call him yet, but obviously he's got the Team Joe Wear Taylor t-shirt on. And we're ready to go. Got me Twitter name on the back here. So you can follow me on there. And uh, also any other ways of advertising you can think of, let us know. Cheers. This is this week's boxing news. First on top of the list is obviously Hay vs Chisora. Exactly what I said. I said Hay at boxing, make it look stupid. We did in the end and finish a nice six round KO. First of Chisora's career. Now hopefully Hay will get a nice big fight against one of the Klitschko's, try and get one of them belts back. Next one was Garcia vs Khan. Khan picked completely the wrong fight and Khan stuck. He ended up getting knocked out too which obviously ain't good for uh, British boxing but hopefully it'll be someone up and coming pretty soon and uh, last on the boxing news is the Burns vs Mitchell fight it's got a deadline which is I think it's the 20th of September up in Glasgow so that'd be a brilliant fight uh, I think one of them would probably get a world title shot out of it but we'll see what happens I reckon it'd be Mitchell if he Mitchell turns up he did again to Murray Turns out Vader's getting conceded, I think obviously Burns are smashing to pieces. That is this week's boxing news. The entertainment suitcase the weekend, which is one of yours, Rago London's uh, projects he works on. Yeah, we uh, met a couple of nice looking birds down there, yeah. professional dancers. So they're looking to come into the ring on one of my fights, do a bit of a boxing routine as I come through. And uh, also, a friend of mine was there doing a rap routine which was pretty good, I was quite impressed as it goes and uh, yeah he was looking to write down some lyrics this week and see if I can get a tune to come into the ring with so if you're interested in all that, it was, I think there was comedians 
bands, singers and uh, rappers there. If you're interested in that, just contact Rago and it's what you're at. Right, here we go. So it's time for the tweet, the picture and the question this week. Alright, so the uh, tweet of the week is from a friend of mine, a little bit younger than me, good footballer though, Anthony Cook, he says cookie on screen. Sex just makes everyone happy. If we all just chopped a little more, this will be a much happier place. Cookies wide words. Well, it's true, innit? So I know when I'm getting some, I'm a lot happier. I don't know about you, lot. Picture of the week is from, again, who's been in it twice now, Joe Hall. It's small, fat, and cute, hashtagged. And he's got a picture of, I don't know if it's either two midgets or me and Charlie Hoyer sparring. Make a decision. And uh, yeah, now for question of the week. Joe Boitella, how did boxing change your life? Boxing has changed my life. It's a thing of growing in confidence since I started. Obviously I started when I was 15, but uh, keeps me out of trouble, keeps me busy, obviously healthy, keeps me fit and trim. Um, but uh, yeah, just keeps me busy. I love doing it, so that's what I'm there for. And obviously now it's my profession, it's my job. I'm earning a decent living out of it. That's the tweet, the picture, and the question of the week. <laughs> so I'm not too much of a fan of this new kit. It looks like a wasp in fucking black currant flavoured wasp or something. I'm not too sure on that. But uh, yeah, so training since my fight, I had a few days off. I unluckily twisted my ankle, so I haven't been doing too much. But uh, I've been in the pool, doing some sprints in the pool, just keeping my weight, like, obviously keeping fit. Still got months to a fight, hopefully getting out in September. So um, keep watching the blogs and keep on uh, Facebook and Twitter and just keep up to date with it. So it's looking like middle of September, but I find out what uh, Mr. Warren says, I'll keep you posted. I had a few good write-ups about my fight, like the week after, obviously. The actual Boxing News magazine, it was only a couple of paragraphs, but pretty much stated that I was uh, at class him and was just a bit of a mismatch. And also the one from the Gazette was half a page, which is quite good for me anyway. So uh, you can check that out, that's on my Facebook as well. And also just another mention from his sponsors, we've got Alex's Restaurant in Brentwood. It's specialising in fish, it's unbelievable food in there. That's so why I've been overeating over there, like probably twice or three times since my fight. Lovely grub. Also Karen's window cleaning and uh, domestic and commercial cleaning, that's up there as well. And also obviously my dream, my training, that keeps me fit, that keeps me fighting Urban Kings. Check that out and let me know what you think about them too. Peace. Joe, tell me more about your knockout. You sure you want to know? Yeah, I really want to learn from it. But That's two knockouts.